everybody, welcome back to another episode of Xenogears. I believe this one's going to be uh, episode 6. I'm trying to break it up an hour at a time, like I said in the first one. Sometimes they go a little over, sometimes they go a little under. <sighs> Having a beer right now. Kind of annoyed. I'd already started recording this and then realized that I hadn't um, set up the video right. And I still don't think I set up the video right, and I'm vaguely concerned about that, and unfortunately, now that I've started recording, I can't do anything about it, so for better or worse, here we go. If not, I still have the save file, and I can do it again. Uh, who are these assholes? I wonder if they're not going to be a bad running joke. So it looks like we're watching from a GoPro mounted on top of these guys. You would assume that they're in a gear. It seems like they're looking for de enemy gears. So, you know, we got that going for us. I don't know if going for us. I like how he's just looking at, like, the bad mapping over a polygon. To the right, there's a hangar. Oh! What's interesting is that they just broke into a military base and nobody seems to have noticed. Hey look, gear sprites. These things look not too great. Dermods! I wonder if that's a reference to anything. Why not take a few? Even if we only get those, it was worth sneaking in. I wonder if it's really that big of a deal that they send in this, like, special forces team, and if they just take a few gears, like, that's worth it for them. That seems like kind of a huge risk. I don't know. Everybody's ready to do something. Gotta go fast, Sonic! Ah! Now things are blowing up. You guys like things that are blowing up? Cause I do. Oh no, what was that crash? So now we're under attack with Mr. Fay who doesn't want to fight anybody. If y'all don't remember his meltdown from last time. Almost all the gear are under repair. Nice translation. How oh, what? What do you got for me? Damn it, Gebler. How do you know it's Gebler? I mean, maybe it's their MO, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> I'm gonna go down. Yeah. It's sex joke. I don't know. Who cares? Anyways, so... Yeah. We're gonna go hide. That's, uh... That's what Faye wants to do. Let the kids that are here fight. So I don't have any control here. Because Faye's a non-combatant. Look at him just nonchalantly walk. Oh, never mind. He's walking up to the... What's he doing? Faye! So I love how this piece of shit, in this situation... It's just like, nah, I can save these kids, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hang out in here. Fuck it. If I was the doc, I would smack the ever-loving shit out of this idiot. I, I, what am I? Uh, mentally damaged. Old man, he called me the Slayer of Dog. I don't want that kind of power. That's kind of understandable. Uh, 
Very immature. How many gears are there? I think I took out most of the small fry, but... So now we get to have... A big line of scripted fights with these things, which aren't that tough to deal with, to be perfectly honest. And you actually get at, or you get these uh, pirate guys to use, which you can see they don't do shit for damage. Or did he? Did he? No, he didn't dodge them. They just don't do damage to him. It is kind of cool that he's got these weird whip swords hanging out of his shoulder. Ew, how about that? They literally can't do anything. It's kind of ridiculous. Like, there's no point in them even being here. I remember them being able to do some kind of damage at some point, so I don't know. Maybe there's something I did that fucked up how much damage they can do, or I don't know. I guess they're kind of good to hang out as bullet sponges to take damage instead of Bart. Because I don't have any, I don't have anything that can lower this guy's defense. If you could, if you could, you could use an ether to lower this guy's defense, and then these guys would absolutely be able to do damage. But at this point, really nothing I can do but let them sit there and suck up some hits. So these guys take more damage than I remember. There we go, he's down. There's one of like 11 voice clips in the actual game. I remember that this game was sold and on the back of the package, which I don't have in front of me right now, said like over 30 minutes of anime cutscenes or something. I think it's like four minutes total or I don't know. So now even the doc is like, we're gonna do the, we're gonna blow stuff up. Doc is ready to fight. He's ready to give him the doc. I'm sorry. So once again, learning more stuff about uh, Doc Satan, Saiten, whatever the fuck you wanna call him is that he can pilot a gear and it's not even a big deal. Five years, I hope I can still remember. So now Saiten has his own gear. And we get to use it. All the main characters you get in this game all have their own gear. It gets to the point where it's kind of, uh... kind of cliche. I don't know if cliche is the right word, but it's predictable. It's like, oh, this is a new character with a sick gear? I wonder if they're gonna join the party. <laughs> I agree with Broyer. What the fuck are you talking about, Doc? Just shut up. No, shut up. Alright. So Doc has his some of his ethers here. Next ether affects all and restore gear defense. Um, the healing uh, ethers uh, that you get... Mm, I shouldn't have charged for this fight. The healing ethers that you get um, as people do not restore gear hit points. Which um, is kind of annoying. But what are you going to do? Oh shit, he doesn't have the uh, level 2 thing yet. Okay. That's fine. Repu does alright. So yeah, there's, there's one character you get later that's a gimmick character that can actually heal gears with ethers. Um... Which technically makes them better than all of the endgame characters, but since they are... 
since they're a gimmick character, they're not really worth it. There's another one of those ten voice clips. At least they're throwing a lot of experience at us here. Um, so yeah, ethers, except for like ethers that ruin defense and ethers that do some kind of attack, are kind of useless and not very well thought out, uh, especially for gear def or for gear fights. They're using the drive. I love how the brigandier gear looks like it's kind of gyrating its hips back and forth in the air there. That's funny to me. I find that funny. Fuck you if you don't find that funny. Look at him, he's like... Eh, 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 eh. I know. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. You can leave a dislike if you want. I won't be too angry. This doc didn't take a lick of damage in that last fight. So these Wand Knights... I don't know if they're supposed to be exactly the same, or if they ran out of money, or what, but... There they are. You're gonna see them a few more times. It's gonna be super annoying. Wow! Straight up miss. That's annoying. That's what I get for using the heavy attack under all circumstances, though. The heavy attack does in order of magnitude more damage than the medium attack. That's just the way it works. Um, is that enough to get him? Yep. Okay. Um, so the kind of hit or miss of it like ends up paying off because it's still a better use. It's probably not and I've probably been playing the game wrong for the past 20 years. Oh no, there's a little kid! But, um... The damage you do if you do hit... Seems to pay off, and you never really get enough... Fuel... For your gears. Hey look, it's some other gear. Oh, it's Faye, finally pulling his head out of his ass. Anyways, you never get enough fuel... To the point where using just the medium attacks ends up paying off in fuel usage over time. Because um, even the longest fights, you run out of fuel in like three or four minutes. Charge or not. Um, and granted, you can buy some very low output engines that have a lot more fuel to them, and at that point, maybe it, it ends up working out better. But at that point, the only damage you're doing is with death blows. Um, or the special skills. They're called death blows, even in the gears. Fuck it. I'm mm, drinking beer. So I don't know. If you guys know statistically which is better, let me know in the comments. Because I would love... To, I mean, I'll be recording and releasing these, so odds are you won't be able to... Or you'll be able to catch me well before I get too far into it and I can adjust my strategy, but I mean, using the heavies, only the heavies really has ended up working out fine for me over the however many playthroughs of this game I've done. Like I, except for in situations where you're fighting non-gear enemies that go down in one easy hit. I can never think of a, a point where not using the heavy. I don't know. We got big trouble! Oh look, it's a giant drill dough. This thing is stupid as hell, but I kind of like it. Somebody designed the hand of Choginga Gurren Lagan. Because it because it's a drill. Do you get it? Do you get that it's it's because it's a drill? So if I remember correctly, this thing increases its... No, I'm thinking of a different, different boss. We're gonna put the booster on him. We're 
gonna use you to decrease the enemy accuracy. Bart is a useful ass uh, team member just for the fact that he can decrease the enemy accuracy. It's surpre oh, it's a drill to heavens! Ah, and he missed. Um, it is a surprisingly ah shit. Should have used his skill. It is a surprisingly useful skill. There we go. I'm gonna finally say what I meant to say. For for longer fights or fights with enemies that do a lot of damage. And you run into a lot of those, so, you know. Hazen! Hazen! Hazan! Hazan! However you want to pronounce it, just do it. You can mute me, it'll... I mean, you'll probably get the same experience. I've never spouted anything but garbage during this LP. I don't feel like I've at any point shared any special knowledge or... I just lost all my audio, what the fuck? Weird! It like windowed away for a second, that's strange. Okay, who is it? Bart? Yeah, it's Bart. You can let the gear roll up and you can see who it is if you can't really see the flashing on the... the uh, character icons up top. So I probably talked about it before, but the booster is... It basically... I can't remember if it doubles the speed at which your uh, charge gauge fills, or if it's like 1.5 times, but... Um, you, you use extra fuel at the... Uh, and your benefit is you go a lot faster, I don't know. Which can be useful in some cases, but in some cases you don't want to use it just because you want to be able to outlast in a fight. Man, he hasn't been able to hit for shit since using that accuracy down, since using Bart's Wild Smile. That's, that's so awesome. I don't usually use it, but like, it's stupid how good it is. I guess I'm stupid for not using it for so many years. Not using it consistently, anyways. Alright, are we gonna miss again? Oh, you hit me for 54! Like, these fights are easy early on. I feel like my impressions of this game were solidified and crystallized in my first playthrough when I had the most problems and didn't know what I was doing and so on and so forth, etc, etc. That's a good level. That's not so good, but whatever. That's another good level. Um, so I remember these fights and go, oh shit, these fights are so hard, you guys. Er, or, you know, whatever the fuck. And, and here I am playing it again and I'm like, okay, that, that wasn't nearly as bad as I remember, so who knows, maybe I'll make new memories of this game with my friends who watch it with me on the internet or something, I don't know. Bert! Thank you, Faye. Don't know how we could have done it without you. I still don't know what I should do. I'm sorry, I, I'm gonna fight. I'd rather talk over than, I don't know. This beer's pretty good. Are you guys drinking? Let me know in the comments if you're drinking and what you're drinking and how drink drink you drunk you are, how drinking you are, I don't know. He walks the path he believes in. I, on the other hand, am a piece of shit. Ah, delicious. He's finally made up his mind a little bit. I wonder how many people fucking died because they couldn't make up his mind on whether or not he wanted to fight and save the children. So now, we get to a really, really cool part in the game. One of my favorites, honestly. 
because uh, there's a lot of shit going on um, at the same time in one of the most interesting areas in the game. And you guys are going to get to see about 40 minutes of it because, uh, yeah. So we're going to infiltrate Ave, or Bledovic more specifically. Let me say goodbye to the women before we go. <laughs> He's thirsty! Thirsty for puss! I'm a bastard, I know. So before we go to Bledovic, now that we have the time, I should have saved, but I'll have a chance to save in a minute here. The party should inspect the town and work out a plan of action. We're currently anchored at our hideout. Let's leave. I'm pretty sure there's some upgrades I could have bought, but fuck it. Hey, you heard me, but fuck it. But fuck it. Na, 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 na. All right, so if I remember correctly, first of all, this is the first time we're actually able to control the Yggdrasil. So this is me controlling it and spinning it around like an asshole. So we can take the road to Nissan, which we'll get to later. But for now, we're able to go around and check out things here on the continent of Abe for the first time. We're able to cross the desert, we're able to go check stuff out, and we're able to do stuff. So this hole right here, I don't believe we can enter it, but that is the exit of the cave. Let's see, if I hit circle, it takes us out of our ears. Okay. Um... If y'all remember from a couple episodes ago when we were wandering around in the rendered desert of Dazil, or surrounding Dazil, that was the game's way of basically cordoning us into that local area to make sure that we needed, or that we were able to, or that we stayed on track basically and didn't just wander off. Um, let's look at the status here. And the importance of that is now that we have our gears and the Yggdrasil, we can walk across the entire desert. And this is a point at which I would start doing a lot of leveling stuff. Um, I'm not going to be doing that here. Also, you move at the same speed on the world map. Actually, you move a little faster in gears. Um, but normally at this point... Uh, it would be game on for taking an hour and a half, two, three hours, whatever, to like throw on a YouTube video and power level, but I'm not going to be doing that here. Uh, I'll show you guys a few of the enemies that are around here. They're more or less the same. Oh shit! He's up to uh, six combo points now, so he'll be able to unlock the rest of his shit. It's still... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's still based on levels, so even if I learn the combos, I still won't unlock them, or the death blows, I still won't unlock them until I reach the prerequisite level, but we're pretty close to a decent amount of them. And the important thing now is getting Doc his uh, square X attack. So I'm going to be running around for probably about two or three minutes here on camera, just shooting the shit and building up some death blows. It'll go rather quickly. Um, and honestly, it's not that important right now in terms of where we're going to be going and what we're going to be doing because, if I remember correctly, Doc isn't going to have to do too much for the next couple of hours. But it's still kind of a... It's still a thing for me. You know, just deal with it. Oh! I talked earlier about that DMZ. Sorry, I was moving away from mic there for a second. Oh, throw my back brace. Oh, my back. My lumbar support on behind me. Um, and we'll go up to the DMZ and I'll show you guys the message that comes along with it. Because uh, it's actually rather interesting. Um, I should also explain what's going on with my formation here. The reason I don't have Bart on the ground uh, doing no, I 
think we're good. Sorry. I thought I heard, I don't know, some sort of intrusion. Um, but anyways, the reason I have Bart into gear is because when you're wandering around, especially in the open world, with enemies on foot, if you run into gear size enemies, maybe not at this point in the game, um, but later on you can run into enemies that'll just straight up one hit um, your, uh, your party members that are on foot. So it's kind of a safety measure to always have somebody who's not on foot. Um, so that's why Bart's in there. He should be he should be building up his combos as well, but I'll actually be able to get into some combat later with Bart, and who knows, I might even be able to do some leveling off camera uh, that'll get his death blows up. They're not too important at this point because the work I've put in already um, kind of has them a little bit ahead of the curve, but I want to be as ahead of the curve as possible. Just because... Let's kill him. So these guys, these guys are actually... Like, we're doing decent damage to them on foot. Uh, but you can see the damage difference between on foot and on a gear. Also, if you have the gears, um, there's... Just based on my experience, I would say that there's more probability that the gear-sized enemies are going to go after your party's gears. But to give you an idea, the, uh, the difference in damage, so here's... Here's your first five combo point level death blow does 159 versus, what, 170 in a gear. So you can do comparable damage, the issue is still just, you don't want everybody to get murdered. Oh hey, I got it already, perfect, so we can, uh, with that, go right on to Bloodovic and uh, start that whole arc. Ah, I'll show you all the DMZ really quick. So Kislev is all north of this line where you can see those things, those little shapes. Those are those are ships, like sand ships or something, I don't know. Here's where the danger begins, because it's not dangerous back here. So now we'll hump our asses over to Bledovic. Let's switch these guys. And then we'll get on to one of my favorite points in the game. This is actually really, really cool. The amount of stuff you get to do here. Um, yeah. So how y'all doing? Half an hour in, I've run out of shit to talk about. I'm scared, confused, and alone. Alright, so since he's the same level, he'll be able to work on that stuff too. The death blows, as important as they are for doing damage to like bosses and stuff, in the do that one again. As important as they are for doing damage to bosses and stuff in the on foot battles, they're even more important um, when it comes to gear battles. And I know I've covered this already, but I've had a few, so I'm still going to talk about it. They allow you to use your special combos in your gear. And as you can imagine, uh, that proves to be pretty important because they do exponentially more damage as you go up in uh, combo level. So this is Bledovic, and we go here and immediately we get to see this dildo floating through the air. It's not a dildo, it's a battleship. Actually, it is the exact same battleship we saw floating over the forest when we were in the uh, the Black Moon Forest. Um, there's more than one of those ships, uh, but I know that that's the same ship because of some stuff that'll that'll be discussed later. Not discussed, but it'll be explained later in the story. And I won't want to. I don't want to explain it too much. But we're gonna meet some new characters here. Also, which end of that ship do you think is the front of the ship? Is it the narrow end or the fat end? I always thought it was the narrow end, then I found out it was the fat end. And 
Changed my entire worldview. I became vegan. Nah, oh, I'm lying. So this is a hell of a deep hanger for no reason. Except to, you know, show it off. Oh, another cool thing. So, listen to this track. Does it sound familiar? It should. I don't know if we've actually. I don't know if we've heard it yet at this point in the game. This is a track. This is a boss fight track. Oh, I, I don't have any control over them talking at this point. Now I will. But this is a boss fight track slowed down to be all like, oh, imposing and blah blah blah. But, you know. Let's keep going, y'all. Prime Minister and General Vanderkam are here to see you, Commander. So that's Mayang. She's Miang. Mayang. Mang. That's Mang. She's kind of important. That's Ramses. He's kind of important. So I don't know if it's been discussed yet or talked about. I think it was... Um, in the Black Moon Forest, but the everybody from Chevette is always talking about surface dwellers, and they're talking about the surface and blah 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 blah, which makes you think, what are they in like a space station or something? Uh, once again, that's another thing I won't spoil. I guess is the word. Um, but you're not too. F it's that's not too far off. I love how the first thing he does is start screaming at this meathead. By the way, why do you have that? What's the, what's wrong with your face? I really want to know what's wrong with his face. Why he has that on there. I feel like this is a new hot shit, like, late 20s dude yelling at, like, a 45-year-old, like, old-school bro. And actually, they kind of explain part of that later, but... Talking about cannons when gears seem to be the thing now. The 500th anniversary of this country, so everything seems... A bunch of shit seemed to happen exactly-ish 500 years ago. I wonder if we'll ever learn about that. Oh-ho! Maybe in part 30 billion of the LP. I don't know. I'm being kind of a bastard. But, because I know everything that's gonna happen. And I'm doing all this bad foreshadowing. So look at how advanced this tech hallway is. Um... And I apologize if that's annoying to anybody, and if it is, yell at my ass in the comments. Playing through this and doing this is as much for me as it is for, or is as much for y'all as it is for me. Because at some point I'm not going to be able to play video games well anymore, and I'm going to be able, to, or I'm going to want to be able to watch this shit. I genuinely love this game. Girl. So now we're basically getting stuff from the other end of the whole Bart War Fatima Jasper thing. And that's Shikan, he's the guy that killed Bart's dad and took over the country. So they keep talking about her being the holy mother of Nissan. Um, and so put the idea in your head of what a holy mother looks like and then see if you're right. What am I talking about? If you're watching this video, you've probably seen this game before. I want to talk to her directly, man. You come with me. And I don't know if these are the correct pronunciations on any of these names. Bart's pretty easy. Um... So if I'm wrong, just relax on the whole name thing. Pretty please. 
I don't think I'm too egregious in my mispronunciations. So here's the holy mother of Nissan. This little anime girl. So kawaii. Marguerite is a pretty name. So once again, we're watching them on camera. So at this point, you have this camera, and this is me controlling it. You are in real time watching me control the camera in this game. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, and you can pan it around and look at the room, and there's kind of no point. <laughs> I wonder why that save point is there. Except maybe to do the stupid audio thing. <laughs> I'm being a bastard. She seems relatively aloof, but she's smarter than she seems right now. See if I can find some cake for you. She's really coming off as a dumb little girl. Ah! So you don't find out any more about the actual Fatima Jasper until way, way later in the game. Um, and there's something about it that's kind of ridiculous, and I'll scream about it when we get there. Ah! Gross. Also, it's totally creepy that he's in his private room right now, and in his private room he's got... A camera pointed at a little girl's room. That's kind of creepy. Yeah, he looks like kind of a creep. Looks looks a little rapey in that big robe, bro. In the meantime, we'll have to administer some truth serum to our guest. We must find the other piece as quickly as we can. This time, Gebler has sent their highest CO. So he's pissed off that... He's not pissed off about Gebler helping in the war, but he's pissed off about the fact that... Oh, here's our characters again. And here's the market area of Bledovic, the south one anyway. South or east, I can't remember. Uh, but he's not happy that they're fucking around in this whole... In the whole... Thing. Welcome to Bledovic. We're having a festival celebrating the founding of the country Ave. There's a martial arts tournament, too. I love how the camera, like, changes perspective based on what angle you're at. Somebody worked hard on this area. Do you already have a hotel? Not yet. You better get a room soon or they'll all be gone. I know a good hotel. The hotel I am talking about is the only one you have access to in the game. I mean this one right here. I love how cool this place is. I love the design, how it's all built out of and built into the same type of sandstone. I think it looks really, really cool. Hello, my name at the front desk. Ken will give you a deal. That's nice of him. So the first thing I want to do is run my ass up here, go into here, into this uh, ethos area. I want to talk to this person. Because here... No. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can do some upgrading to at least one. I think it's Heimdall. You can upgrade Heimdall. Give it a ridiculous amount of hit points. G6. Already has a better engine. G6, 27, and 7.5. Okay, cool. I'm not going to worry about the actual equipment at this point. 
This is another cool thing about the uh, the ethos buildings and each of the things is that there's always some sort of gear being worked on, and you can kind of watch. Granted, it's not nothing's really happening, but it's a really cool. Ah, it's a really cool like uh, atmosphere setter, I guess is the right word. Also, get used to that uh, particular architecture of building. We'll be seeing it a lot. So, you can't jump up here, right? If you use this box, you can climb up fast. The kid charges you to use that. Um, and obviously, we don't want to do that. What I do want to do is go down this alleyway here, over to here. Playing hide-and-seek. You want to play? Play. Yeah, we're going to play some hide-and-seek. Fuck yeah. Leave. Gotta find me. So now I don't remember all the places the kid hides. Uh, but basically, we need to cause a loading screen to happen. That makes five mining gears and ten miners. And make it quick. I need some miners without families. Guys, if families get killed in a dangerous job, I have to pay compensation. It's a real pain. He's a scumbag, but at least he's honest. We could talk to them, but I want to find these kids. Oh. I want to find it, child. It's not up here. There kind of is and kind of isn't a reason I'm playing hide-and-seek. I don't think we can do it later, and if I remember correctly, you get something for it. So the first place... I don't remember. It's like hiding behind something here in the market. You're bugging me, get out of here. Is that the kid? No, get off my back, I'm just looking. Damn it. I forget where I'll it's been so long since I've ble been in Bledovic, and it is actually fairly complex. I know there's some good stuff I can buy around here, I don't remember. But, fuck it, let's just hang out and check it out. Come on, let me on the box. It's in the box! I at least remember where the shops are, as long as I get the right side. There's a weapon shop over here we can use for DeBart. Bart! Run by a kid. Helping out while my dad's away in the army. Iron Whip. Whip a Snappa. What a terrible name. Right, we'll equip that on him later. I. Like, it's cool that all the, all the guys have. Or some of the guys have weapons and stuff. Oh, this sucks. Oof. I thought my son came back. My son's fighting for the country. He won't be back soon. Must be a tough job. Yep, I'll bet he's a general by now. Sorry, he's gone a little senile. You see, our son went on holidays to get out of joining the army. But we haven't heard from him in ten years. So he deserted. Anyways, this whole area is very complex. And I forget what exactly I was saying. I'm always playing hide and seek. What a laugh. I wonder where he's hiding now. Oh, hey! Here's what we want. Armor shop. Let's buy some armor, eh? Grab some leather sets. Fuck it, let's screw around with equipment. Leather vest. Yeah, have that. Leather hat is better than the fencing cap. Which, like, it's just a name and there's no real cosmetic difference. 34, 37. So Bart does more damage than anybody right now. It's crazy. If I remember correctly. 
the stuff he has equipped is better than everything else right now. Leather hat. Um, but when it says fencing cap and fencing wear, it's talking about, like, the fencing uniform. It's talking about hit and evade value plus two. That becomes less useful later on, but for now we'll leave it on uh, Satan there. Um, it's talking about the suit, like, you know, like, the grayish, whitish suit? Yeah. I wonder where he's hiding. Everybody's looking for hide and seek kid. We can't get over there. We can actually do a lot of cool traversal here. I wonder what's in this window. Oh, how cool is I don't know where I am. It's been so long since I've run around Bloodovic, man. Oh, there's the crazy cat lady's house. Look at her, she's a crazy cat lady. Come on, talk to me. Apologize, there's so many cats here, it's hard to walk. My daughter collects them. Oh, she's the crazy cat lady. Just come here. It's like dealing with my fucking four-year-old. I did, can I go upstairs now? Kitty! She's got more cats. That child, what did she bring home now? You know what she brought home, it's a fucking cat. At least I have a mother, this kitty has neither parent feel lonely because dad's not here but uh you get a lot of text around here i mean everybody's obviously focused on the war effort or or been affected in some way by the war just because like the war's been going on for 500 years there's not a person alive as far as we know that's pretty actually, but there's not a person alive who hasn't grown up, who wasn't born during this war. Which is kind of crazy to think about. Not a single person. Anyways, fuck it. I don't want to play hide-and-seek anymore. I'm pissed off. I don't remember it. Let's go up here and hang out in the tank. Let us borrow a room here for... Oh god, a nun! No! That's pretty, like, bad to just say out loud. Like, the fact that he's alive should be an incredibly well-kept secret, and it clearly is not. Let's get a room. I'll be in my room. Please come by later. It's that room. So if I remember correctly, you still have to, you can't just sleep in her room? I could be wrong. The evening I'll have something then. How about 50G a person? I have a recommendation. Um, anyways, you can't sleep in her room. The person didn't give us their name. Aw, she never gives her name, but okay, I'll mark it down to 40 g each. You heard me. 40 g. So that's a little savings of 30 g. 30 g is pretty good g. We can deal with that g. G, g, g. Oh, I was gonna save out in the world. I ain't saved it. I ain't saved this. I have not saved this entire fucking recording. Anyways, let's talk to this lady and see what's going on. Who are they? They're here for. They're here for the train. Now get on the bed. I'm terrible. I'm a terrible human being. I'm sorry. Thanks for coming here in this desert heat. Because it's. There's never. What? Ever since she took my margarita, I've been looking into ways to get her back. Have you tried asking? She's been out here playing in format. It's surprising she hadn't worked with Bart here. And granted, they don't explain their association right now. They'll explain it later, but... Margie's in the Citadel. Thought about it a lot, but it looks pretty bleak. I'm sorry. So I'm pretty sure they explained already, but Marguerite is Bart's cousin. I would have to assume because she's not an heir to the throne I would have to assume that she is a cousin via the brother or sister of Bart's mother. 
even though there's weird association with that as well. Any new information, good ideas, not yet. We're going to hit the streets for info now, then I'll think about the rest later. I know what I have to do. Um, anyways. Um, because Bart's father was the king by blood. Like, he is a direct male descendant of all the direct male descendants of that specific... I've been doing laundry here for 60 years. The water is the only thing that hasn't changed. There's a spring flowing beneath the castle. I was worried that when the king died, the water would stop too, but it didn't. That old guy down there in charge of the water won't budge an inch, even for shacking. Alright, we need to look at this thing. Actually, we don't have to look at this thing yet. No good, no good. You won't open it without the key. Many years ago, a kid got lost down there. I think it was the kid from the armor store. Ah, I remember. Okay. So by the kid from the armor store, they mean you gotta go ask the kid about what the fuck was going on. Sneak our asses up here. And it should be that kid in the corner. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. He's he's out here, if I remember correctly. Gotta go find him. Where are you, kid? Come on, kid. Wait. I actually have to go to the armor store. Son of a bitch. This is the armor shop. What can I do for you? It is the... That one kid. I think I fucked up. My brother is such a child, I was playing hide and seek. What a laugh. I wonder where he's hiding now. Okay, I think I fucked up. Because I think the hide and seek kid is the kid I gotta find, and instead I'm playing fucking hide and seek with him, and I have no idea where the shit he went. Not over here. No, he's not. Damn it! I may have screwed everything up forever for always. No, shut up! Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Get off my back, I'm just looking. Monster fangs. Around back here. There you are, you little son of a bitch! Yeah! Fuck your hide and seek! I'm a I'm an adult man! Yeah! Next time's real, huh? You want to hear about when I went down the well? It's been a while since anyone asked me about that. Everyone wanted to know about it back then. Well, <laughs> I was still a kid when I hid in there. You're still a kid. Actually, I got lost. Pretty embarrassing. At first, I thought I could follow the current out, but the grill stopped me. So I swam against the current. The speed of the current is always changing, so if your timing's off, it's really rough. It's the opening and closing of the floodgate that changes the speed of the current. I'll end up right under the castle. I wonder if that's somehow important for us. I was scared stiff by the manager. The lid to the well has been locked since then. It was a great place to hide, but it's no place for amateurs. The key? The old guy who's always sitting on the bench by the east well has it. Alright, so that same guy that yelled at us about trying to get in there has the key. So now we need to go talk to him for our way to get into the castle. The well key? I've got it. I'm in charge of the Waterworks Association. What are you going to do with the key? Rescue Margie. You want to clash with Shacken? Ha! This is great! This is great! So we now have the well key. So we have our way into the thing. But our planning isn't done yet for the next stage of our planning. We need to not go that way, we need to go this way. So there's a lot to do and a lot to see and a lot of just ancillary stuff that you never necessarily need to see when you go around Bledevic. Um No, let me in the square. Thank you. There we go. And not this one, but further up. So this is a straight-up carnival, and it's awesome. I'm gonna buy some stuff. I'm gonna buy a toy gun. I'm gonna buy a gear figure. And 
I don't remember what they're for, but I've bought, I've bought them, so now I have that item. Inside the tent is a whole other world. My heart is a balloon flying up into the sky. He gave me a balloon! I got a balloon! Look at my balloon! Also, look at her. Blue flames are the flames of the heart. Yeah! Don't talk to me, I just choked. Flames are the flames of the heart. Blue flames are the flames of the heart. Come on, I know I can do something with one of these. Red flames are flames of the body. You want to try? Try it. Hold down the X button when pushing the R2 button. So now I can just walk around and just blow fire everywhere. What are you doing? Be careful, there are lots of strange shops at the festival. Some of them sell drildos. I don't know. Oh, I'm a fortune teller. Ohm, I know. My specialty is finding things. I delve into your subconscious. Ooh, my cat's under my foot. Ooh, a pet kitty with foot. One try is 50 good. Delve away. Hmm, 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 hmm. Oh, I turned invisible. He's in my butt. He's touching me. A small girl locked away in a high tower to the north. We're going to have to kill you for knowing that information now, bro. I'm back. Is that it? Yep, that was it. I know. I know. You have no new information for me. Ohm. One try is fitty good. Nope, you already did it. Goodbye. Wow, that's hot. Oh, an explosion! And we gained a little weight. I want to buy some ice cake. Brr, it's c c cold Aw, oh, that's funny. This part's great. There's so much random stuff. Lost a little weight. Let's eat one more ice cake. Maybe lose a little more weight. It's c, -c, -c cold So the, the effect happens longer and longer two or three times when you eat. It's fun. Had fun. Hey, bud, care for a Bartweiser light? A Bart. A Bartweiser light. Big, like Bart, like Bartweiser. Like, you want to have a Bart? Do you want to drink some Bartweiser? Do you think they have frogs that go Bart? Why? Zer. Okay, enough dumb bullshit. Let's drink the Bartweiser. You're a good drinker. Yeah, now we're drunk and we gained a little weight. Let's drink one more. Or let's eat a nice cake to get rid of that weight. I always want to be lighter. I feel. Like, like the benefits of being faster in this game seem to outweigh everything else. Drink the Bartweiser in broad daylight. That's my favorite part of the festivals. It's almost like October fist. Fist? Who's fisting? I'm fisting. Faye, we can have fun later. No, I want to have fun now, you piece of shit. Anyways, let's talk to this guy and continue on. Have you ever seen a flying saucer? Yep. That is the country of the great ancients. They came from a star farther than heaven and created us. They ruled this land as dogs. But man gained knowledge and strife erupted everywhere. The ruins are a proof of those struggles. The descendants of the gods fled this land and come blah 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 in the sky. It was a peaceful place. Are you listening? They are still out of. You know, sometimes people disappear. They're taken by sky people! Sky crime! Gods army will appear out of nowhere. Don't defy them. You can't blah blah blah. They will make a paradise on earth again. So I love how they just have this weird conspiracy theorist hanging out. What's up, Bart? Castle's up ahead. If I go, it'll cause problems. If you're gonna go, the two of you should go by yourselves. I'll wet here. Okay. Let the two of us go. Okay, be careful. Oh, scratch my back. In the middle of a heat wave here in uh, Southern California. Nowhere near as bad as other parts of the country get it, but I'm a sweaty, nasty fucking mess right now. Sitting in my office. Yo, dude! Try and pick the champion? Champion of what? Huh? The sick Yu-Gi-Oh tournament, bro! 
Excuse us, we have only just arrived and know nothing of Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, bro! Gotta get your blue eyes white dragon and jam it balls deep in your Exodia, bro! Every year, bro, they release new cards, bro! I don't know why I'm doing that for this voice, it's clearly a woman. Actually, it's not necessarily clear with the sprite, but I know for a fact that sprite is for women's. Goes wild over guessing who will win. Give it a try. Betting on the tournament. Is that allowed? The soldiers are crazy about it. Oh! All the strong ones have signed up. The rest are only after the consolation prizes. Some strong ones might still register. What a bunch of cowards! So Faye's gonna enter the tournament and fight motherfuckers. You can beat him up, he's gonna punch him in the balls. Right in the balls. Will you enter the terminerp? Oh me! Well you draw out the guards. So the idea is somebody sneaks into the castle while Faye here fucking distracts everybody with good fights. Do not use your real name, make another suitable why? No one knows who the fuck he is. It's not like they have social security numbers in this fucking planet. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, I think I have to sign up there. Wait here. This is the terminant rabbit burp burp burp. Amper de Tarbidar. Please sign in here. Ponytailed. Hmm. What's the worst thing I can be? A wandering slacker. Yeah! Connor McGregor. I don't know. Okay, so I'm signed up for the tournament, and now we pretty much put our plan together. Now it's time to go back and tell the nun that we did a good job! We did it! So, um, the festival that's going on here isn't exactly the same. Um, as, but the idea is it's a throw up to the festival at the very beginning of Chrono Trigger. Um, a bunch of shit happens there. So this is interesting, you can skip through the entire, uh, thing. You can't do it here, but you can do it here. And you can enter Bledovic from South Bledovic, from basically the southern entrance there. Which, it doesn't really matter one way or the other. But there you go. I just always found that interesting. Oh, I should save. It's been an hour. I know, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. Hope you guys are enjoying our little stroll through uh, the capital of Ave here. I'm having a fun. I hope you're having fun. But speaking of fun, it is almost time for our today's to this fun to come to a close fun. Any new information? Good ideas? Just remember where Bloodhead's water supply comes from. It seems like a very crucial detail to forget. Eh, he was a basically a big toddler when he was dragged out of here. But we basically set up our plan and this is where we gonna scheme from. I know in the last episode I bitched about how much exposition there was. That has nothing on the exposition thing that's going to be coming up here soon. It gets crazy. They will be in the terminant tomorrow. Yes, I know I'm saying that wrong. Overall, not the worst plan I've ever seen. There's been no reconnaissance. Literally just, you can get in here. And we can distract people here. Okay. That's fine. Good little impromptu ad hoc plan for the fact that it took me, what, 20 minutes of game time to come up with it? And I mean, part of that's because I know the damn... Sorry, I can't help you. Well, I'm already so you're gonna get some sleep. Man, I'm beat. Nah, no more sightseeing. Actually... Yes. I'll be coming back here for a while. Yep, that's the idea. So, 
uh, this will be the end of our fun for today. Thank you guys for coming out. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you didn't, let me know in the comments how I can improve. Um, thanks for coming out, you guys, and I will see you next time.